My name is Brian Foxworth, small town guy from Pennsylvania, moved here to Baltimore back in 1999. Not only am I the proud founder of Entrepreneurs of Baltimore LLC, the reality television show, uh, and head executive producer, but also too, I'm actually one of the proud founders of the Baltimore's Black Wall Street Day events. And where we actually go to the Baltimore's Black uh, Business Expo, or we rent out locations and we host events where we award entrepreneurs in the city. E.J. Warwick, uh, a.k.a., uh, no, his name is Eric Martin Jr., a.k.a. E.J. Warwick. It's a funny story. Me and E.J. met on, uh, over there near Coppin State University. They were filming a movie called Guns and Grams, and we were actually, uh, we were actually in the movie. Never really talked to Brian. He played the police officer, but he did an excellent job. A couple of months later, he doing his reality show. I came. He wanted me to play a security guard, which I played. It went well, but he seen potential in me. He knew I was greater than just one scene. And now look, I'm here. Now, when I first started filming my reality show, Entrepreneurs of Baltimore, with S Money and his baby mother, Tony, I actually put EJ in as a security guard. <laughs> he had his security, security shirt on and everything. I guess that's when you want to show the clip of that. <laughs> yep. But... After that, me and EJ sat and talked, and there was more to EJ. His numbers was good on social media. Uh, he, he did, uh, his music is freaking phenomenal. He has a lot of freaking followers. I mean, and EJ, me and him became good friends too. And he's also one of the founders of the Baltimore's Black Wall Street Day event as well. So today I'm in the studio, working on Entrepreneurs of Baltimore, the anthem, Tony Bosco on the hook. And of course, my adventures partner, Neffy. We went and did our thing, laid it down. I got Brian in the booth to do the intro. It was so unexpected, and it was dope. Shout out to Neffy. Much love, honey. Tony Bosco on the hook. The Entrepreneurs of Baltimore Anthem is cracking. My man, Pimpin' Beats, on the beats. Pimpin' Beats Studio. It ain't even a whole lot to them. We had a good time, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. Shout out. No waving, no flag, no surrender Since young I was taught to go get it So I'm about to go get it Until I'm on top and I'm richer Bosco, Tony Bosco What I can say 20 plus years of friendship We've been through ups, downs, arounds, arounds We've been through it all That's my brother, I love him The hook monster, can't nobody create hooks like my guy It ain't even a whole lot to that Bosco the man But tell me why you walked in though yeah. Lady shit. <laughs> with who you had one on each arm. Two my girl, girl April Love. Yeah, that's my And Lean. Yeah. I was like, yeah, look at yeah. him walking nah, in El Dorado. Nah, nah, like they, the they, 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 they my homies. They, really. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with both of them. You too. know what I mean? But it's crazy because like I never expected for us to, you know, like do what we did and then we ended mm -hmm. up in New York. Mm -hmm. We ended up fucking with Chris Gotti. Yeah. That shit just was bananas. We did the process but that shit was dumb for real. All this summer. Yeah, that shit is crazy for real, you All know All this mean? summer. The showcase was crazy, though. And yeah. then we both went in the studio that night. Uh -huh. Well, you, you were, were you already on distribution through them? Yeah. You I, was already on distribution. Yeah, yeah I, I was. I and won distribution that night, but yeah, you was on there. Yeah, I was, I was already on it, you know what I mean? But um, that shit was just, it was just so, it was just was epic. You know what I mean? The energy in there was yeah. me and that night, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. It was crazy. I'm, I'm just excited. You know, I'm, all, I'm always excited to work with you. Like, how you mm -hmm. feel about the entrepreneurs of Baltimore situation? Um, yeah, Neffy, um, you know, to be honest know, with you, like, like, me and Neffy got a real good history when it comes to um, connecting with music through the Chris Gotti adventure show down at the El Dorado's. Shout out to El Dorado's, Baltimore famous, legendary place. Um, it's always a pleasure working with Neffy. She works hard. Her work ethic is a monster. She's very professional. Very stand-up woman, so it was a pleasure to work with Nephi. Um, I had a beautiful time. The experience was lovely. It was just an honorable and beautiful moment. Shout out to Neff. Coming up, just to come from Atlanta. You know, we're right here in Baltimore. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm a small town dude, and I'm, I'm I'm here in the city, and I'm making it. You know, and I'm making it happen for all of you. We just connected, and we've been tight ever since then. And I just knew I believed in his vision, and we connected after the show. And been in touch ever since. You're not from Baltimore, but you do got family here, entrepreneurs of Baltimore. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, welcome. Yeah. All right. No waving, no play, no surrender. Uh, 
I know you'll see it at the music studio. I did the oath. As an entrepreneur, I will work to innovate and transform the impossible into possible. Well, I just came up with that quote two weeks before that, so that's why I was stuttering over it. But actually, EJ told well, Actually, I'm glad I said it, even though I was kind of embarrassed because you'll see it. It will probably be pulling it up now, uh, me stuttering and everything. But EJ was very creative. He's like, stop. Just take it in the music booth. So now you'll hear me on the um, beginning of uh, Entrepreneurs of Baltimore Music Anthem. You'll hear me saying the oath. How's everybody doing today? Good. What's up, Karma? Yeah. How you feeling? Great. All right. Everybody knows I'm the executive producer and owner of Entrepreneurs of Baltimore LLC. I want to share with y'all something that's um, very dear to me, an oath that I came up with uh, a couple years ago. And actually, everybody didn't see the vision when I first started. Now, I'm glad everybody's here. We actually bring it to fruition, the people, the music. This brand is really pushing. Um, let me just go ahead and get started. As an entrepreneur, I will aspire to inspire those who want to pursue an alternate path from t the traditional. I will work to innovate and transform the impossible into possible. My reality is void from the confines of constricted thoughts that has no limits nor boundaries. I shape the future and create opportunity that cannot be produced from the un unimaginable not mindset. And that's, and, that's, and that's from the heart, y'all. Yeah. And I'm glad this really came into fruition, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yo, um, this is yeah. my... Yeah. An entrepreneur is a risk taker. Someone ain't afraid to take risk. It's the difference between a hustler. A hustler's got to see some type of financial aspect out of everything or they're not going to do it. They're not that bad. That means you're not passionate about it. An entrepreneur is passionate about things and they're a risk taker. You know, and it's, it's in Webster, it's in the Webster Dictionary. You know, and I'm not afraid to take risks. Anybody that knows me, I, I, you know, and that's what I, I, and honestly, that's that's what I want people to take 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 from it too. An entrepreneur is a risk taker. Don't be afraid to take risks and tackle your dreams. And you know what though, a lot of people would be would expect something like this to come from Atlanta. You know, we're right here in Baltimore. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm a small town dude, and I'm, I'm I'm here in the city, and I'm making it. You know, and I'm making yes. it happen for all of you. And I love y'all. I appreciate y'all support. Especially you, you've been with me since day one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my boy Dwayne, Dwayne uh, Miss Jackie, my, one of my business owners as far as networking and um, uh, producing. Hello, hello. Queen Jackie. Queen, she's the queen of Baltimore. Emmy Award winner, all this, all that. But uh, me and Queen Jackie go back about five years. Um, when I first started Entrepreneurs of Baltimore, I was on a talk show and she was in the audience. And she was just thrilled about what I did. And she just, we just connected and we've been tight ever since then. We go back, we did a talk show together, and he was just introducing entrepreneurs of Baltimore. And during that talk show, what I saw was a, a young man with a vision. And I just kept saying, he's going to break down barriers. You know, I, I saw something in him different than what I saw in uh, the other two that were part of uh, entrepreneurs of Baltimore. And I just knew, I believed in his vision. And we connected after the show and been in touch ever since. So we bounce a lot of ideas off of one another. Um, he's been on my show, The Intimacy Chronicles. You all can download YouTube and check out The Intimacy Chronicles at The Intimacy Chronicles, Queen Jackie A on YouTube. Um, and I'm just looking forward and I'm honored to be a part of Entrepreneurs of Baltimore. So thank you so much. Thank you to everybody here in the room. Um, I'm sure great things will come from each and every one of you. I can see it. And, also, um, too. Yeah. Also, too, I want to introduce um, a newcomer to the team, Miss Karma. <laughs> hey, Karma. Yeah, there's the um, a, a awesome satellite radio station in Baltimore. Hey, everybody. My name is Karma, a.k.a. Karma the Media Diva. I am a media and radio personality. I model. I act. I just started recently writing plays, a short 10-minute uh, plays, and now I'm a reality star. She's a stern entrepreneur with a radio show. Um, she, you'll see she's quick to fire people. She's very dedicated, and also, too, she's also in the world of her own, and she's straightforward. You'll see that season one, especially at the pajama party. Okay. <laughs> And I'm just excited to be part of this. You know, I'm not from Baltimore, but since I've moved here, I've been shown love, mm -hmm. you know. And when he brought me on, I was like, definitely, you know, mm -hmm. I'm on onto it. You know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Mm -hmm. um, and I do feel that a lot of times there's 
crabs in a bucket, you know, within the industry, and no one wants to help one another because they're scared, you know, they don't, you know, take their, you know, their spot. But you haven't shown me that. You know, you've always shown me love. You're always reaching out to me, tag me forever <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. But I'm just excited to be part of it and can't wait till it comes out. Okay. You know, definitely. All right. Um, also, too, I know you're from East St. Louis, but um, you're not from Baltimore, but you do got family here, entrepreneurs of Baltimore. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, welcome. All right. I would like to um, thank everybody in the room for coming together with me and Nephi, Tony Bosco. This is this record is big, it's huge, it's extraordinary. All y'all are beautiful. We're black. We're superior. We're kings. We're queens, and this is this this matters to us. The collective of people coming together and being unified. You know what I'm saying? And this is very, very important to all everybody in the room. You know what I'm saying? For us to be associated with each other. Because we have a dis we have a distance with each other. There is no connection with the black people no more. You know what I mean? We're giving our businesses to everybody else. But this is the entrepreneurs of Baltimore. And we are entrepreneurs. Everybody in this room is an entrepreneur. Whether it's music, whether it's clothing, whether it's film, whether it's radio, whatever it is, we are strong. We are together. We are one. We are human. And we are black. No disrespect to any other culture and any other race. But we have to protect our own right now. And this means everything to everybody. We are one, and we are in tune with each other. We created a record together. It took us a couple of hours, but we did it. And we came together, and we did something unified. And it's very, very important. This is the entrepreneurs of Baltimore. Brian Foxworth, E.J. Warwick, Nephi, Tony Bosco. We're not playing no games at all. You know what I mean? So, only thing I want to tell y'all is thank you for loving me. Love is a dangerous word. You have to you have to be careful with the word love. But we have a certain type of love for what we do, and what we do is we bring our love together and we connect it and we build. And once we build, we associate with one another and we network and we grow. And that's what it's all about. It's about growth. It's about unity. And it's about love. Entrepreneurs of Baltimore, I love all of y'all. Thank you. Yes. So without further ado, yeah, yeah, yeah do your thing. As an entrepreneur, I will work to innovate and transform the impossible into possible. My reality is void from the confines of constricted thoughts and has no limits nor boundaries. I shape the future and create opportunities that cannot be produced from the unimaginative mindset. Just for the one that got it and hated and said that we never would be shit. Every day double, I'm loaded to double cause one of my thoughts is defeat me. Nothing below when they see me. We taking over the industry. Even the corporate or any streets. Entrepreneur, I would call it be. Taking it one step at a time and we gon' get it, get it. Entrepreneur, hustle, grinding and winning and I ain't gon' stop till I'm finished. No waiver, no plan, no surrender. Since young, I was told to go get it. So I'm about to go get it until I'm on time and I'm richer. Entrepreneurs come in all shapes, sizes, different cultures. Uh, all different walks of life so I don't care if you're a corporate executive I don't care if you're uh, selling Avon products I mean the title by entrepreneur is a powerful thing just don't think you have to be walking around with a business suit on uh, Tony's an entrepreneur and she still doesn't know what she want to do what she means she's striving I mean I mean the, to find a way is This for the one that got in the game and said that we never want to be shit. Every day double, I'm loaded to double, cause all of my thoughts are defeat me. Nothing but love when they see me. We taking over the industry. Even the corporate or any streets. Our truth is how we're going to be. Taking it one step at a time, and we gon' get it.
Next time on Entrepreneurs of Baltimore. I, I don't trust a Jackie. Um, she's a good business partner. We were great guy. I love her. She's a good friend. She's a great supporter. Always in my corner. I don't want no one to take offense to what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. But what everybody just said to me is, to me personally, BS until I see it. Okay. I'm the type of person where what I've been through, people can talk all they want. Mm -hmm. And then they go outside of whatever they're doing. And, and they then, yeah, and they do. I was actually surprised that she felt that way, but she was expressing it from her point of view and her experience with the other ladies. So I can't be upset about her honesty. It's probably true. They probably do probably hang out and then the next day they don't go they don't go live with each other. They don't push each other's businesses unless it helps them. They just don't I mean they, I guess she was basically saying they were selfish from what I heard. All the outbursts between Tony and Angela they cannot handle their drinks. It was like definitely blame it on the a a a a alcohol. <laughs> <laughs>